Hello, it's Keith from Kinvert, and in this video we are going to be going over Vector's customer care info screen, okay? That's um, CCIS is the abbreviation. This is a little trick that you can do to find some of the information on uh, Vector. So first what we're going to do is double click his back. Now that he's on his charger and you can see he's just in his normal mode here, double click his back. Come on, dude. There we go. And now what we're going to do is raise and lower his arm. Now we're brought to the first screen here. And then what we can do is lower and raise his head. And now we're able to actually go through these screens. So let's look at this first one. First what we've got is his serial number. All right. And that's the top one. Next is the OS. That's his current version of the software. Moving down. We've got the SSID, which is the network name for the Wi-Fi. And then we've got his actual IP address. Now, exiting clear user data, that's other stuff that you can do by moving his head and arms to kind of move through the menu, but we're going to keep going through this CCIS. This brings us to his actual name. That's what was shown before with the, the key and everything, that big name. The MAC address. This is sometimes important, and we've got an article on that, so we'll link that below as well instead of going into depth. Again with the network name and the IP address and then it's showing uh, just some date stuff so current year and blah, blah blah current time then we're going down to network and it's saying that it's found a network so this is the second page we're going to go to the third page here by clicking again now these are the cliff sensors these four numbers so let's see if I can move this and keep it in focus we should see these numbers change see how these numbers got quite a bit lower that's the cliff sensors all right so that is how Vector is sensing if he's going to fall off the table. There's four of these because he's got four sensors. Next we've got the distance sensor. So if we can see my hand, we should see this distance value changing. Right now it's at 42 millimeters, 50, 74, right? So that's his distance sensor, which is down in this area. And then those three numbers in the parentheses, they seem to be distance related, but I don't know exactly what they represent because there's three different numbers one of them tends to be a zero. I don't know if one of them is like the reflective properties. It's possible that's what it is, but I really don't know exactly what those three different numbers represent. I'll try to find out. If I find out, I'll put it in the article below. Uh, the touch sensor, okay? So right now, for me, it's generally 4,700-ish. And then when I touch it, it goes up to around 5,000 if I really cover the sensor. We've got the current battery voltage, the charger voltage, right? It should be at 5 volts when he's on the charger, 0 when he's off. All right, so that's one of the things that you might want to troubleshoot if you're having trouble with your vector. Maybe his contacts aren't very great or, so, you know, they've gotten dirty. That'll introduce resistance, which can change the voltage that he's getting from there. Next, we've got a temperature. I, I have a feeling that this is for the processor temperature, but I don't know that. And so, again, if I find the real answer, it's very hard to edit a video that's already uploaded to YouTube, but we will update the article if we find that. So let's keep moving through. So that was page three. We'll go to page four. This is accelerometer and gyroscope. So you can see right now that this is uh, 8,000 on the bottom. And if I, I doubt I can really move this and have it stay in focus, but right now it's only in the hundreds where the first number is at 10,000. And so that's sensing... Um, gravity, if you've got it in a vertical axis, and it, if you move it around, it's, it's sensing the amount of acceleration. The gyroscope is measuring the amount of rotation, right? And so it's three axes. You got, you know, X, Y, Z, whatever. Um, and so that's what the gyroscope is doing. These are really cool numbers, by the way. They're very useful later. Now we're moving to page five. This is the head angle. So we can see it's at 45 degrees. I'll move it down. 30, 33, right? So that's the head angle, the lift angle. We can move this, and you can see that number changing. And then the wheel speeds, so I can move them, and you'll see those wheel speeds changing. So it can sense all that. It's got all these encoders, and so that's a really cool feature. And this was page five. Page six will be the microphone. Remember, there's four of these, so this is a microphone array. And I'll be quiet for just a moment. The heater's going, but you'll see these numbers will be positive. I'm guessing they'll be around 900. Yet between 900 and 1100 is what they were. And then if I start to get pretty loud over here, sorry headphone users, I will try to tune it down, the amount of volume I'm making. But you can see those numbers jumping and getting bigger. 
Uh, so there was that, and then we'll go to the first page again by hitting the button. We're back at the first page. To exit the CCIS, raise and lower. Now Vector's back to normal. All right, so we went over the customer care info screen for Vector. It's abbreviated CCIS. We showed you how to get into there and what information can be found. There are a couple small pieces of information that we're going to go back and try to find, and th there's no way to really put them in this video. We'll put them in the article such as what did those numbers in the parentheses mean for the distance sensor? I don't know yet. And I don't remember if there was another one. Um, that's the only one I can think of that I didn't know. So anyway, this was Keith from Kinvert, and we will see you guys later. Bye.